I'm Ali Reza Mahiri, a reader in School of Engineering and Center for Energy Transition. My research is uh, focused on renewable energy systems, more specifically hybrid renewables. In traditional design methods, we talk about technical terms all the time. These technical terms are not tangible to end users. For example, an unmet load of 40 kilowatt hour doesn't make sense to an end user because they don't know how does it affect their daily life. Is it equivalent of to five hours power cut or one hour? To be able to design systems for those communities, we need to bring into account their requirements. The limit on the capital uh, budget that they have, the limit on the operation and maintenance cost in each year, and the power that they need. So what we did was to introduce new performance measures which, are, which can be easily translated to end user language. And based on them, we can bring them into the design process. So we deliver an end user centered design. We have uh, two scales of renewable systems, large scales like multi-megawatt or gigawatt uh, wind farms. At the same time, we also have small uh, scale renewables, what we call distributed renewables. Just for example, a rooftop PV panel or a single wind turbine in a farm. We believe that both of these have a major role in energy transition. If I want to compare the performance of a system to classical methods and the new method, I would say the system has a return of investment of four years. If we go through this stochastic method or non-deterministic method that we have introduced, we say this system has a return of, for example, five years with a level of confidence of 95%. This is what investors want to know. We are working closely with a company on a, on a collaborative project. When they implemented the method that we developed, then they saw a rise in the uh, number of customers because they could give them accurate performance with that level of confidence, like uh, return of investment, like uh, cost of energy, capital cost, operation and maintenance cost, and all other performance measures that we consider. We see wind energy and solar energy as a dominant source of energy these, these days, but in future we will see more of new resources like wave, tidal, hydrogen, as well as new technologies for storage systems, heating and electricity.